Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be seeing how to make this biome using PCG. We will be using splines to get some really complex shapes as you go, as you can see. Uh, so it will be very good and very easy for level designing as well. We will also be using splines if needed to create paths in the forest. So you can use these parts to either create some roads or add, you know, fallen leaves on the ground or anything like that. So I intend to keep this video really simple and short. So without further ado, let's let's begin. So for this project, I am using this temperate vegetation free asset from the new fab marketplace you can use any assets you like uh, also i think i used this rock asset which is also another free asset in the fab marketplace so let's start so let's start in our content browser i'll create a blueprint actor name it let's say bp underscore pcg biome and yeah so let's come inside um, so inside our actor first thing i always do is make a scene component and make that our root you don't have to do this but it's fine next thing is i'm going to add a spline and click on a spline and click on this second node and delete it I think I deleted the wrong one. I'll just undo. Uh, need to click on the. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, now I'll right click here and activate closed loop. Next thing I'm going to come in this blind generation panel and create a ellipse. And I'll keep the number of points three. Uh, rather, let's say four. And just increase the length and width a bit since it's a biome forest we need a bigger area i'll compile and now let's just put it inside the level go to the game view uh, i think that should be fine for now now next thing we need to do is come inside and create a pcg graph i'll name it pcg underscore Bio. I think I already have a PCG bio. Let me see. Anyways, I name it PCG Biome Spline. I think, yeah, PCG. Okay. And now come inside your actor class and just add a PCG component to it, and assign your PCG Biome line or whatever you made that's all we need to do with the actor blueprint and now let's edit our pcg graph okay so open up your pcg graph and get an empty space so let's add the spline data first so get spline data next thing we need to add is a spline sampler so yeah so we'll be changing quite a few stuff over here so let's start from the dimension make it to on interior so that will deselect a lot of stuff and we need to tick unbounded and on and we are going to decrease the bound spacing to 30 and let's say 10 for now and see next thing i'll add a transform points node and so this node we'll use to create some randomization in the grasses so it doesn't look uniform in like a grid or so and uh, lastly a static mesh spawner node so and let's add some mesh entries and i'll add two for now so i know we have two grass assets it's more of a shrub or something crop so and just open up my asset uh, small so this is the first one i'll select that 
and for the second one i'll again select my static mesh the uh, uh, another static mesh so let's look inside how it looks right now so as you can see it's too much right now so let's uh, increase the sampling a bit from let's say 30 from 10 to 20 and i'll make it from 30 to 40 and that's a bit less so let's try 35 yeah so i'll also add some randomization in my transform points node i'll keep the min as zero i'll just set the offset max as 50 and y let's say 250 so there you can see now it is more random so we can now decrease the sampling again and let's make it 30 and that should work so now next we'll add some small like medium to tall trees in the biome so for the trees open up your pcg again so i'll copy these exact three nodes and duplicate it make sure you have some space you'll need it later on so for your sample spacing i'll increase it to 600 for now and this to 30 and i'll just replace the static meshes to bigger ones so let's say uh just i'm choosing random meshes for now you can have your own mesh and however you like you're free to use that so i'll select uh, i'll select this one now yeah so let it load up and let's see how it looks in the editor uh, let's see oh nice so actually i'm pretty happy with the values it's how i wanted you can decrease the sample spacing and have a denser forest if you like so let's randomize the height of the trees so i'll in the transform point nodes i'll just change the min value to 0.7 and max to 0.3 so now if you see yeah it looks much better so you already have a nice pcg spline which you can use to create you know beautiful beautiful biomes like such so let's see what we can do further to this so let's add a path in between so for that i'll create a new actor i'll name it bp underscore road spline so only thing we need to do inside this actor is create a spline component to it and that's it i'll probably increase its default length a bit and that's all uh, let's add it and make a path inside so press alt and drag to add new points if you want a nice curvature like this so that's it now let's get back into a spline pcg graph so again we will start by getting the spline data but this time we'll change a few stuff first thing is we'll change the actor filter to all world actors must overlap self and by class we'll select our current actor i'll include multiple why not Add a spline sampler node and the mode will be interior and the distance threshold I'll, let's say uh, let's say 200 and uh, I'll delete this and yeah so I'll do extend modify next and just increase the X Y and Z let's say to something like um, I don't know hey, let's say 80 80 80 and yeah so i'll add a difference node from the transform points and i'll just remove this node and connect the extends modifier to the difference node and then add it to the static mesh so let's save it and see how it looks inside a level there you go as you can see now there's a 
beautiful path carved out from the spline which you created so it's quite dynamic even if you move the spline uh, it's not updating for some reason if it doesn't update do not worry just come inside your let's say come inside your graph and create the click the force region button yeah see there you go it updates so unreal acts weird sometimes so so you can create these beautiful paths now um, you can use the same method to remove the trees as well and actually i'll just add it i'll just show what you can do you can you can go on to create add more of your own stuff probably rocks and other stuff as well so for the trees i'll just copy paste these nodes over here again from your transform points i'll just add a difference node and remove connections from the uh, static mesh spawner and add the bounds modif uh, extend modifier to the difference node and that's all so now if i move the spline let's say uh, it's, oh it's not loading i'll have to do a force region and yeah there you see it works very well and i think that's all for this video i'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers so please do subscribe i have something special planned for that if you enjoyed the video leave a like and let me know in the comments what video you like next thank you